The candida die-off effect is real, and if you don't understand it, you will never get the candida overgrowth in your gut treated, and you won't get better. I'm Dr. Stephen Wangen, the founder and medical director of the IBS Treatment Center, and we've treated literally thousands of cases of candida overgrowth in the digestive system. There are a lot of challenges when it comes to treating this problem, but the most important might just be this crazy thing called the candida die-off effect. So what is it? Well, it's this. When you are successfully treating a bad candida overgrowth, there is a very good chance that you are going to feel worse for a while before you feel better. Yes, you heard that right. That's exactly what I just said. At least 50% of the people who are treated for candida overgrowth in the digestive system will go through a phase where they feel worse before they start to feel better. And we call this the candida die-off effect, and it's also known as a Herxheimer reaction. And if you don't know that this can happen, or you don't expect it to happen, then there's a good chance that you are going to want to discontinue the treatment because you will understandably think that the treatment is wrong, but it's not. So what do I mean by feeling worse? Well, most common and most likely is that your digestion will feel worse. You will likely get more gassy. You'll maybe get bloated. You may probably get some diarrhea, at least possibly. It doesn't happen to everybody, but you'll probably feel like everything is stirred up in your digestive system and that we're making the problem worse rather than better. And there are other non-digestive symptoms you might get, like headaches or fatigue, or just simply really feeling run down, almost like you've got the flu. And sometimes people get skin breakouts, for example. Now, all of this is very temporary, although many of these symptoms are things you already experience, right, on a regular basis because you have a candida overgrowth. Now, it doesn't last forever, and it's going to revert back to the way it was before you started treatment if you stop the treatment. Or you might, if you do stop the treatment, you might feel even a lot better, but it's going to be for a short time if you stop that treatment early because you won't get the long-term improvement that you're looking for from the original problem if you stop, if you stop the treatment early, and I'll describe what that is in a bit here. Now, in order to truly get better, you have to push through this die-off phase of treating candida until you come out the other side. And even then, once you feel like you're coming out the other side, you almost always have to continue treatment for quite some time or the candida overgrowth is going to want to come right back. Now, how long will this die-off phase last? Well, the die-off phase can last from a couple of days to a month or longer, and sometimes even quite a bit longer. It depends on how bad your overgrowth is and how good or strong your treatment plan is, and even, of course, on how well you're able to tolerate this phase of the treatment. Now, this phase, this die-off phase, might start within two or three days of treatment, or it might even take a week or two before it really kicks in. And keep in mind, that you might go through the die-off phase more than once during the treatment as, you, as you're either increasing the level of treatment or you're breaking through layers of candida. Now, how do we know it's the die-off effect and that's causing this problem and it's not the thing that you're taking to treat it? Now, this is a good question and this one held me back for quite a while before I figured out that it was usually the die-off effect and not the thing that I was using to treat the patient. And here's how you know. If you change treatments, right? If you're taking one thing and then you take something else to treat the candida and you get the same reaction, then it's the die-off effect probably. Now, if you change treatments and you don't get that reaction, but you don't get better, then the treatment isn't working. The treatment's not working at all. So keep that in mind. It's got to be one or the other, right? You got to be either getting worse or getting better if it's working. And so also keep in mind that there are some things that we use to treat a candida overgrowth. And for example, one of these is a pr prescription called Nystatin. 
And these things, this nystatin simply is not able to get into the rest of the body. Nystatin is not absorbed. So if you're taking nystatin and you get headaches or fatigue, it isn't the nystatin, it can't be. It's not getting absorbed. All right, why does this die-off effect happen? Well, I like to think of candida as like little toxic balloons. And they are also just very resilient organisms and they literally will fight back. So as you're killing them, you're releasing a lot of toxic chemicals and those chemicals make you feel crummy. So you also, you absorb a lot of that junk. That's why it's making you feel crummy and how you get things like headaches and fatigue and the like. Now, how will I know when I've gotten through this die-off phase? And I get this question a lot, and it's actually relatively straightforward. You'll know that you've busted through the candida die-off phase because you'll be able to continue the same treatment without any of the downside. It's really as simple as that. So you'll start to feel better rather than worse, but you'll be on exactly the same treatment. And that's also the point at which you'll actually believe this whole thing called the candida die-off effect that we've just been talking about. So don't avoid treatment just because of the potential for a candida die-off reaction. And I've seen this happen to too many people, but if you do, what happens is you just can't treat it and then you don't get better. And so I don't want that to get in your way of getting better. So don't be afraid of it, just understand it. And then you'll be able to get past it and get better for the long term. A candida overgrowth in the gut can cause a ton of problems and really make you feel completely miserable. So if you need help dealing with this, please reach out to us at the IBS Treatment Center because we've got nearly 20 years of experience dealing with this and we'd be happy to help. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more fascinating information about candida and other aspects of your health. Thank you for watching.